Good afternoon, my guys, kings and queens, man. It's the God B. Collins, man, coming at y'all with another episode of Words of Wisdom. You hear me? And today I want to focus on, man, constructive spending versus destructive spending, right? A lot of people, a lot of people like to spend, 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 and we don't save, save, save. We do more spending than we do saving, and that's a downward spiral for failure. And the reason why I can knowledgeably speak about this is because I was once one of those people who was a, a destructive spender. You know, I would spend money on things that couldn't make me money. I would spend and not invest, right? And I noticed that destructive spending is mainly, um, you know, a common occurrence amongst my people, black people, from what I've experienced, just based off of my experiences, you know, you know, I'm familiar with people who always wanted to have these nice shoes and the, the nice um, cars and, you know, and, and spending money on places where they could have saved it, you know, going out to eat a lot and things of that nature. And I noticed that when black people are rich, they always look rich, right? They always got the nicest car. They always got the they always got the um nicest jewelry, the most, you know, the Jesus pieces, and they always got the most upscale, up-to-date technology and, and things of that nature, right? When a white person is rich, you don't know that white person is rich. I don't know what kind of shoes them is. I don't know what kind of shirt that is. I can't tell nothing about that. All that stuff look off brand. But you know what? They got more money than everybody else in this room. And you wanna know why? I'm pretty sure you already know why. They're not going out and buying the latest car every uh, three months. They're not going out and buying uh, the new Jordan release every every whatever month Jordan come out with the shoes. They're not going out and buying uh, all this. Like, they're not doing all that. You know what they're doing with that money? they investing in that money with that money. they investing in companies and stocks and, and, and doing things that can provide them with further income in the future. And that's something that... I envision myself doing, right? You know, I've been doing my things, looking into, doing my own research and finding out where I can put my money once I save it up and when I make it and stuff like that. And I've been trying to do more um, constructive spending and less destructive spending. I remember when I was younger, man, as soon as I get a lot of money, uh, boom, I'm buying these shoes, I'm buying these LeBrons, but LeBrons, 160, boom, I don't care. I'm gonna get it. I look up, dang. I done spent all that money, now I ain't got nothing to show for it. Some shoes that I wear a couple times, some clothes I have, still haven't even wore, like, got nothing to show for it. And I'm so happy with the person I'm developing into, right? And I like to say it, I don't, I don't care about saying that, I'm cheap. I am cheap as I don't know what. When it comes to buying myself stuff, I will always look for the cheapest thing that I like. If I like it and it's too expensive, I'm like, ah, I don't like it that much. But if it's cheap, and I kind of like it, or if it's cheap and I don't like it, I'm like, all right, all right, you know what I'm saying? I work with it. But being cheap has paid off for me. And this is how being cheap has paid off for me in, in several ways. Main way is it allows me to help my mother whenever my mother is in need and she needs something. Because I'm cheap, I may have extra money that I can give to her without it actually hurting me. You know what I'm saying? And that's so important because this very spot I'm in right now, I wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for my mother and, make, and her making the sacrifices that she did for me. So I love the fact that I am the way I am because it allows me to help her when she needs my help. Another way um, being cheap helped me, and if you don't want to use the word cheap, you can use the word financially responsible. That's a better fitting term, I guess, whatever. Anyway, another way that um, me being financially responsible helps is because by me not spending money on unnecessary things, it allows me to have money to spend in case of emergencies, right? Like for the last year, I've been having car troubles, right? And, you know, I've been trying to hold on to this car that I had for the longest, you know, some days it'll, it just won't crank and then it'll crank up for like two months and then one day it just won't crank. And I haven't been able to find the problem to the car still and I done spent all kinds of money trying to replace it I mean not replace it but like fix it right and I done spent so much money and trying to fix it and it's still not fixed and I say that because it was me being a cheap person that uh, enabled me to have the funds that I did have um, when I needed to you know fix my car whenever something went wrong with it so and then yesterday, you know, I finally, it was the last straw, really. So I went and actually had to buy a new car. And I had the money to do it, you know, with my own money because I don't spend 
more than I make, right? A lot of people spend that, spend so much of their check before, they, as soon as they get it, and then you hurt all week. So I was, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm big on saving money, man. I'm big on, you know, not, you know, blowing a check. Everybody like to blow a check. You know, these youngsters nowadays that buy. And that's what it was, man. It was constructive spending. Constructive spending is what allowed me to um, uh, be able to buy a new car for myself. And, you know, so I'm happy about that, man. God is good. God has blessed me with that. And, you know, constructive spending is not just investing and, in, you know, spending money that's going to make you more money. Constructive spending is just being responsible, so spending responsibly. You know, making purchases that you know won't come back to bite you, right? You know, black folk love to kill. That's how your credit get killed. Black folk love to kill that credit that buy. You know what I'm saying? Put everything on credit. Then the credit card bill be outrageous. Like, man, don't do that, man. Just just spend within your means, you know? Just spend within your means, bro. Just spend within your means, and I promise you'll be all right. The second you start going this way, trying to buy this, when you know you got these bills that that money need to go to, you done messed up that buy. You done messed up that buy. There you have it, my guys, kings and queens, man. This is just another episode of Words of Wisdom, man. Constructive spending versus destructive spending. How being cheap benefited me. I hope y'all watched, tuned in, and liked it. Subscribe, this, you know, subscribe to the channel. Share this message. I feel like more people need to hear this, man. Spend responsibly so you can prosper. You hear me? Y'all have a great day. Remember, always love somebody, hug somebody. You hear today, you gone today. You hear me? Happy birthday to Tupac Shakur, man. Happy birthday to the God, the young God. I'm about to hit the gym. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay up.